jam. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Welcome, my friends. So glad you could join me. My name is Wonka. Today, we're going to be playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. And a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever it is you celebrate. I hope it's a good one. I hope you have fun with your family, friends, whoever you're spending it with. And if there's, and if there's gifts involved, I hope there's some good ones coming your way. My little Christmas Eve gift to you is going to be a, a little Car Mechanic Simulator episode because I know you guys love this game. And if you enjoy, you want to see more, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And while you're down there, why not leave your suggestion for rim tire paint, anything you can think of for the vehicle we do today. But without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy. And I think you will. Yeah, for those of you that just skip through the intro, which is entirely possible, I don't blame you if you do, it probably gets repetitive if, you're, if you've been here before. But I just want to say it again, happy holidays. It is uh, Christmas Eve, I guess, when you're going to be seeing this, and um, I thought this would be a nice little Christmas present to you. There's more coming tomorrow on Christmas Day, don't worry, maybe not more Karma Kank Simulator, we'll see, it's a surprise, I can't ruin it. But um, let me know down in the comments what you are hoping for this holiday season, if there's gifts involved. If not, let me know what else you are most looking forward to this holiday season. Let me know what you asked for from Santa. I mean, all that good stuff. As you can see, we've got some decorations around the shop, a little bit of Christmas lights, a little bit of a tree with some presents underneath it. What could those be? Car parts? Tools? Turbo? Um, but I need to tell you guys, a little bit of a Christmas story. Get us into the mood. Get us into the Christmas spirit. So it was the night before Christmas. I was dashing through the snow in my sleigh pushed by me. And I realized when I went over the hill that this is a lot of work. And it's 2018, so why the hell don't I get myself a Dodge Viper with a V10 in it, might I add. It's a little bit, it's a little bit rough right now, you know. Um, she's used, she's previous owner kind of thing. What do you think, Santa's made of money or something? Come on now. Um, but hey, got myself a Viper. Sounds much better than a sleigh. And uh, this is actually a part of a little present that we got in the Christmas time here in Car Mechanic Simulator Land, which is the Dodge Modern DLC, which includes, I believe, a demon and this here Viper. Oh. Uh. It does not include the Demon, I'm sorry. This just includes the Dodge Viper GTS, which you are seeing here. SRT V10. Oof. And um, the Dodge Char Challenger, sorry. The Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Could have thrown the Charger Hellcat in there, no? I mean, whatever. Both 2015s, as I said, it's used. Um, but I'm, we're going to check it out. We're going to check out what this 8.4... 8.4 liter V10 can do, and obviously I'm excited to see what kind of mods come out with this V10 in it. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's some plans already in motion, and we'll see them soon enough. I can guarantee. Uh, the other engine is the 6.2 liter V8 supercharged, which um, hopefully is also fast. Um, I've, I've, I've kind of caught wind of a little bit of a, of a complaint in the complaints department, where maybe these engines don't quite produce what they probably should. But uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens when I get a hold of this girl, you know? Maybe I got the magic touch. We're gonna put those two on hold. It's Christmas season, all right? They're just, they're just hanging out. I took this thing out, did some plowing and some shoveling, as you can see here. That's why this pile of snow is here. It's, it's snow, trust me. So let's see uh, how big this V10 really is, because I'm curious. I, I, <laughs> I hope it's like, wow. Oh, I gotta take out the filter base from the car. So that's that's new. I've never actually had to take out the filter before. Um, apparently I'm not in the engine bay. Okay, I was in the suspension somehow there. That's fine. Uh, so we take out the filter cover. I guess it is kind of attached like to this thing. and. It makes sense. It makes sense removing it. I've just never had to do it in this game, so that was a first. Pull it on out and uh, place it over here. 
V10 OHV Viper engine. It says so right on the cover. So I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of parts to this thing. Um, and it's going to be fun, though, because uh, I love new engines. I love looking like an idiot and looking like I don't know what I'm doing as I trial and error. Like, how? what do I have to take off first? I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never built an engine in real life. For those of you that are maybe curious, the hunt for a, a good winter car is still on. Um, we haven't really gotten much snow where I am in Canada. Uh, we got a little bit here and there, but it basically goes away within a little bit. Global warming and all. Um, V10, by the way. Um, but uh, we'll see. Um, I'm going to not really do much about it right now. Maybe near the New Year's or in the New Year. It will be when we get it. But it is coming. Don't you, don't you worry about a thing. I'm just taking my time and not just buying whatever. I want to get something... Something different for you. I don't know if it's the outline or my eyes, but that wheel does n like it looks a little deflated or something. It's not very round. the first battery that's ever actually just come out from underneath. I like that battery. Yeah, I guess I guess there wouldn't really be an access up here, huh? Oh, sorry, grabbed the wrong thing. My apologies. So the body is in rough shape, so let's just take it. We also might be able to see if there's any aftermarket parts for it. I doubt it. Maybe something carbon fiber. But like I said, I doubt it. But we'll see, and we'll at least try to fix what we can here and replace what we can't. We want a brand new, brand new Viper. We can't be driving around looking like a broke ass who bought a used Viper, even if it is the truth. Let's uh, fix the body for 1000 Convenient that all cars cost the same for body work, no matter what they're made of. Am I right? Am I right? Um, I'm going to uh, take some things apart over here before I forget. Because I always forget these things. Alright, so how is the interior in this thing? Am I going to have to do something to that? 84%. Why? Why? Ah, oh, whatever. So there's a rip in the leather. Who cares? Ooh, I care. I care. I just said it and I care so much. 14,373 kilometers on it. That's not terrible at all. I mean, it's probably a little higher than you want your Viper to be bought at. But if you got a deal on it, that's that's low. That's low as hell. Um, so 645 horsepower factory. Not bad. But we can do better. So drag Viper is the goal right now, I guess. Um, we'll see what kind of liveries we can put on it. We're going to put some slicks on it and... Um, well, that's basically it. As many tuning parts as we can. But let's take a look at this engine. See how she breaks down. Also, if you're wondering what I wanted for Christmas, since I asked you guys um, what you were excited for for the holidays or excited to get gift-wise this holiday, I 
would like a winter car. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, even though it might happen after Christmas, that's that's my winter car. Please, something good, not a scam, no lemons. Just come on out on the market. Thanks, Santa. at the end there but there was a sneaky little camshaft flushed in there it wasn't sticking out or nothing it was hidden Ooh, this thing is looking good wait what what is that oh i was gonna say there's rust on that it was not looking good hey what is that get out of here You're contaminated with the old the old self what is that okay that's it I need a new career path. Clearly I am a terrible mechanic. Where even is that? It's like tucked up under the body. No wonder I didn't see it. It's cheating. They tucked it through by the rockers and shit. I hate this game. No, I don't hate this game. It's actually really cool that it's tucked up in there and it's not the game's fault. That's an, an engineer's fault or something. Or design guy's fault or someone's fault. Mechanics hate them, and I'm a mechanic in this, so I hate them too. They never think about us. They never think about where, how we're going to get to this, or how many pieces we got to remove to get to that. They don't care about us. Oh, windows, I got to get those off. Apparently, I got this one, because I got the door on only one side. I'm turning in my badge and gun, chief. I mean, drilling, I mean, wrenching, you know what I mean. Going home? Nope, nope, can't go home. How am I gonna pay for all these cars? I gotta, never mind. Back to work, people. All right, all the shopping stuff is done. All my Christmas shopping stuff is done. I'm not doing any shopping for at least a week, okay? Unless it's like Boxing Day online shopping for me. That's it, all right? Because I ain't going out Boxing Day either. That's... I don't even know if deals really happen on Boxing Day anymore because we've kind of adopted Black Friday here. We used to do Boxing Day. It was more like our Black Friday, but now we've kind of adopted doing Black Friday here as well. So it's kind of like no more Boxing Day, really. Like there's some stuff, but not really as much as it used to be, I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, what does matter, though, is I feel insulted. While this DLC is not bad, could have used maybe one more car, maybe maybe one more, maybe the Charger Hellcat or something like that, I don't know, and maybe the Challenger Hellcat could have been a demon, I don't know, but um, what this could have used, more than anything, is to not insult 
All right. I was in the auction. I was looking at this nice vehicle. Not this one, but another vehicle. It was a modded vehicle. I'll be honest. Okay, whatever. And um, when it came up, I looked to see what engine it had in it. And it said, exclamation point, hashtag dummy. <clears throat> the game called me a dummy because I don't have a DLC, all right? I think I'm smart, all right, because I didn't buy a DLC that was basically the same DLC from 2015 that they just basically reworked into this. It was the only DLC I didn't buy because it felt like the exact same thing, and I was like, why should I buy this? I already bought this DLC in 2015, all right? So get out of here. That's, yeah, that's my story. I got called a dummy by the game, all right? I'm not over it yet. I mean, from the from the top part here, it looks really good. From this section, it pretty much looks the same, other than that and that. But um, there's definitely like these look really nice with that. It just flows so nicely. Looks like a Viper engine to me. Let's uh, let's get it out of here and get it in to here. I had to kind of figure out what I wanted to do there. Is there engine swaps? No, there's no engine swaps. Do you need it? I mean, what more do you want? V12. I mean, no, this is fine. This is fine. We can we can live with this, I guess. So I guess I can now attach this filter part. The upgraded air filter. For extreme premium airflow. Gotta get that rad in there. Make sure we... Uh, Get the coolest of the cool going through our extreme premium airflow. And, uh, you know, I guess we have to stop if we're going to go that fast. Where was there it is? This is what I missed on the way out. And uh, that would have been frustrating if I was trying to sit there and figure out why it wasn't 100% on the body parts or on the mechanical parts. You know what I mean. Along with that complicated engine where you have to, one at a time, do the rockers and stuff for ten different 
valves um, per side. Might I? Um, we're gonna we're gonna get to the complicated ass back suspension right here. You'll see it. Remember, remember, work safely, because I've seen a car fall off the lift. It was an S two thousand. Have you seen that video? It's terrible. That poor guy. The building is done, the wrenches are away, and now we can put on the body and go play. Ah, look at that. Christmas stories aren't the only ones that could rhyme. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse that, huh? Let's uh, get some oil in this thing, we'll see how much it chugs. Chug, 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 egg, nog, chug, chug. Kind of looks like egg nog, think about it. Let's, we're going to say it's egg nog powered. V10, Santa Claus style. So yeah, nothing really to see here. Just gonna be putting back all the little parts. Brand spanking new, some fixed, some rebought, some robot made them, most likely. I highly doubt these were handmade. And there it is, back to its shiny white snow. This is kind of convenient, isn't it? White like snow, Christmas red and green, like, there's some Christmas magic in the air, I'm telling you. And the interior is not perfect, but who cares, it's the outside that matters. Nobody's going in this car, they just need to think it looks good from the outside so they don't think that I'm a broke ass. Anyways, we got the 19-inch uh, 355s in the back, and then we got the 18-inch 295s in the front. That's how it came. I don't know why. Probably could have used a bigger wheel on the front. Seems like there's a lot of space up there. But who cares? Not me. I mean, I do. But you let me know what you want to see. We can even change the Viper wheels if you want to. I kind of wanted to keep it white because, you know, it's snow and it's white Christmas. I'm dreaming. You know, that. Um, but we got to come in here and at least take a look at what kind of liveries they have blessed us with in this. And it's looking like stripes. We got stripes on stripes on stripes. And the only one that's Christmassy is the red one. So we'll do that. Why not? Red and white. Ay, caramba. I really hope that's not red. It's, I mean orange. It said red. So we should be good. I, f I always forget how loud this thing is. Into the dyno we go. We might have had a Christmas miracle where I actually didn't forget anything on this car. And not even really realized it. So we started out with 645 horsepower. Indeed, there was a Christmas miracle. And I remembered everything there was to put on the car. 
Don't forget to feel free to let me know what kind of license plate paint ideas you want this thing to be permanently. But right now it's our Christmas Viper, and it could stay that way if you choose. But the most important thing is it's got 1,048 horsepower. We broke that 1K mark. It's officially a drag car. Yikes. That doesn't sound great. Maybe the Christmas miracle isn't true after all. Maybe I did forget something. Sure sounds like it. But uh, hopefully it sticks. That's the most important thing here. And hopefully it's fast. Okay, it's fast. Please stick. It's sticking. Ooh, and it's quick. Ooh, and it's loud. Oh my god, I'm going deaf slowly. I'm gonna need a hearing aid for Christmas. Hello? Is that you, Timmy? Talking to my good ear. 34751? 351 kilometers per hour, top speed, 2.7 second, 0 to 100 kilometer, or 0 to 60 for you Americans out there. And you can see the rest of the times there. It only took us 15.2 seconds to go 300 kilometers per hour. That is insanity. If, if you think about it, most basic cars can't do 100 or 60 kilometers an hour. Or 100 kilometers, 60 miles in 15 seconds. They can't do either of those. They can't go highway speeds in 15 seconds. That's the point I'm trying to make. Damn it. Why can't we all just use one generic speed measurement? Who wants to start a petition? Well, that's going to be it, folks. If you guys enjoyed, you want to see more, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below, and a very Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Chinese New Year, whatever it is you're celebrating this holiday season. I hope it's a good one. I hope you have the best time you could possibly have. I'll see you guys tomorrow, Christmas Day. Don't forget to like, leave me comments, decide what you guys want to see done to this car, if anything. If you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. Remember, keep your dirty dick beaters off my tools. And one last time, I ho ho hope you have a happy holidays. I can't believe I said that. <laughs>